Hey guys, Rick Stone here from the website Our Stony Acres. Welcome to our YouTube channel. While you're here, please make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notice every time we release new gardening videos, which is several times a month, okay? All right, so this is the next installment in our monthly planting guide series. All of 2020, we are going to be doing a monthly planting guide for each of the zone pairs to give you guys an idea of what you can be planting in your garden during that month. So today we're talking about zones nine and 10 and what you can still plant in your garden in zones nine and 10, okay? So you guys are warm and your warm season has already arrived and, and things are, are warming up. And, and so we're gonna kind of move from what you should be planting to what you could still plant. So things that you could still be getting in that you have plenty of time to do. Now we're all warm season crops in zones nine and 10 right now. So, so don't really, don't be trying broccoli or cabbage or most of the leafy greens, all of those kind of things. You're, you're just too warm now for those. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at warm season crops that you could still be planting in May. Even, you know, even if your garden, you're late getting it in or whatever, there's, there's still plenty of time for you to get a few things in here. So let's take a look at these, okay? All right, so number one is celery. So if you can find some celery by start, uh, you could definitely still be planting that out in your garden. Sweet potatoes, as long as you've got 100 days before your last frost, 100 to 120 days, you should be fine planting sweet potatoes this late in the year, should be all right. Um, tomatoes and eggplants can both still go in and you'll be fine getting tomatoes and eggplants in. Uh, peppers, all of the winter squashes, so butternut, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, all of those can still be planted during the month of May. And then the same with the summer squashes. So those would be things like uh, zucchini, yellow crookneck squash, and patapan squashes. All of those still plenty of time for you to plant those and, and get those growing and doing well in your garden. Um, potatoes. So potatoes are kind of a quasi cool season crop, but there's really no reason why you couldn't plant potatoes uh, this time of year in zones nine and 10. You've got plenty of time for them to mature, so you should be able to plant those uh, just fine. Any of the melons, so uh, cantaloupe or watermelon, crinshaw, any of the musk melons, you could still be planting those during the month of May. Corn, both popcorn and sweet corn, you could still be planting in May. And then any kind of bean, so both the bush bean varieties and the pole bean varieties, you have plenty of time to still be planting those. You can do succession plantings of those all through the summer months and uh, shouldn't have any issues with those. If you're looking to plant a few greens, then you know there are a couple of things that you could probably still get away with. Swiss chard does pretty well in the summer heat. And so if you wanted to plant some Swiss chard still, that would give you some greens that, that, that you could be growing. Uh, you might be able to get away with a late planting of collards as well. Uh, and then if you would like to try some of the, the warm season spinaches, uh, New Zealand spinach or Malabar spinach, both of those, they're, they're technically they're not spinach. So they don't taste the same as spinach uh, and their leaves are different but they call them a spinach. So New Zealand or Malabar, they're both warm season crops that you can be planting this time of year, okay? And then if you would like, you could try some summer crisp lettuces. So these are varieties of lettuces that uh, you can plant this time of year that, that stand up to the heat. So I'm gonna give you a little caveat. It depends on what type of zone nine or 10 you live in, okay? If you live in the coastal regions of California and Florida, you live in a nice warm zone nine, then you should be able to get some summer crisp lettuce to grow. If you live in a screaming hot desert area in Arizona or somewhere like that, you may not wanna bother with summer crisp lettuces because they'll hold up to about 100 degrees. And I know you guys get a lot hotter than that. So if you, know, if you live in a region where your temperatures get above 100 degrees in the summertime, then I wouldn't bother with those summer crisps. I'll leave a link down in the description below that'll take you out and let you know um, a little bit more about those summer crisp lettuces. I, it's an article I wrote on my website um, that will then kind of give you some varieties and things like that that you can try. 
Okay? All right, so that is the list of things that you can still be planting in zones 9 and 10 in May. Uh, hopefully your gardens are doing well already. You can see mine behind me and we're zone 6 and so we're just kind of getting started but we've got we've got onions over here, we've got peas coming up here, you can see I've got some walla waters out there with a few tomatoes in them. So things are coming along really well in our garden as well. So hopefully for you in zones 9 and 10 they're doing great. Okay, uh, one thing I did want to mention is just a little bit about the Gardening Academy. So the Gardening Academy is our monthly membership service where we provide weekly content, workshops, planting guides, Q&A sessions, interviews, etc. that help you become a better gardener. It's a great way to improve your gardening skills and become just a rocking, awesome gardener. And uh, that is again called the Gardening Academy and it's open right now uh, for you to join. And so if you want to click the link down below, uh, it will take you out. You can learn a lot more about the Gardening Academy and uh, check it out there, okay? All right, well, my friends, that's all I have for you for this week and this month on our Zone 9 and 10 planting guide. Uh, if you don't know what your zone is, uh, you can click the link down below and it will tell you what garden zone you live in. Okay, everybody have a great week. Happy gardening.